Oh, it's time for another math easy solution to discuss orthogonal trajectories and uh, just look into a brief introduction on them. This is really important in all of engineering and, uh, and whatnot. So basically orthogonal, what this means is it's perpendicular or uh, it's a right angle. Basically this is all it is. Yeah, so that's what the word orthogonal uh, basically means. So an or orthogonal curve or let's say uh, basically two curves are called orthogonal are called so basically yeah two curves are, are orthogonal if at every intersection if at basically every intersection yeah so at every intersection intersect at right angles or perpendicular so what I mean by that is if you have uh, one curve like this and if this curve intersects at every time it intersects you're gonna have this is a right angle and if it goes up like this again, this is always going to be a right angle. So at every time it intersects these curves. Yeah, so now we're going to look at uh, basically orthogonal trajectories. Yeah, and these are basically, it's the same thing as, the, as this above uh, definition, except now we're going to look at two family of curves. Of curves that, are, that intersect at every point. Yeah, so that uh, two family of curves that intersect at, at right angles, or at every single time they intersect, it's always a right angle. What I mean by two family of curves and uh, just regular curve, just go curve. Yeah, so basically what I mean by this is if you have a curve, let's say y equals x squared, and then this one, a family of curves could be y equals k times x squared, where this is a constant, and that it changes, and then as you have change, you have different, uh, basically, yeah, you have different curves. So this is, this is basically a subset of this, so you have a subset. This is one's where k is equal to 1. And then obviously if you have k is negative 1, it's going to be a different curve. So basically, this is all the curves that, so the family of curves is, is all the curves that have this property, x squared, but then times constant. Okay, so now let's look at an example to illustrate orthogonal trajectories. We'll look at a family of curves, in this case, of circles. Let's go y squared plus x squared is equal to r squared. This is basically, it's basically this is an equation of a circle. This is the equation of circle at the origin, because uh, if you see my other video, this is uh, it's on the equation of circle, you'll, it's really useful, you should make sure to uh, recap on that. Basically, this is the radius here, so as you change this radius, so this is constant and it's uh, it's the radius, as you change, you're going to have different radius of circles, different circles. So this is this one family of curves. And now let's look at a straight line, y equals, let's say, k times x, where this is, again, this is a constant. And this is just the equation of a line, this is just lines. As you change k, you're going to have different lines. Now, what if we draw these out? Yeah, so if we were to draw, let's say, uh, a circle, just a just regular circle right here. Yeah, so if we draw the circle here, let's say this is uh, radius, uh, let's say r is equal to 1. As you, as you uh, change r, let's say r is equal to 2 and 3 and whatnot, you're going to have curves or circles that go encompass it like this. Yeah, so let's say this is a uh, r is equal to two and whatnot, and then if we change it, just get it. Let's get one more circle in here. Yeah, so yeah, let's say this is r or something bigger, three, I guess. So it doesn't really matter. R right, goes three. Now, what we want to do is prove, uh, and you keep, you can keep going on and on. So what we want to do is, if we draw the a line, let's just go y is equal to. Well, for based on. Yeah, so we, if we just draw a line like this, let's say k is, in this case is equal to uh, k is equal to one or whatnot, and then if we were to draw uh, negative one, this is k is negative one. If we keep doing this, yeah, so basically we're just drawing different curves of this family of curves. These basically line. This is a line with uh, that goes through the origin, and this now what we want to do is is to see if these are all right angle. Uh, this looks like it's all right angle. So let's say, uh, prove that it is orthogonal. Yeah, so now uh, we're going to prove that the two family of curves are actually orthogonal to each other. You can look at it, it looks like it's all perpendicular at every single intersection. So every time it, it looks like it. So uh, to prove it, basically we're going to use uh, implicit differentiation. Yeah, so we'll use implicit differentiation. See my other video on that one. Basically, we're, what we have to find out is, is prove... Yeah, so we have to prove that the derivatives of the two curves are actually negative reciprocals. Yeah, so we have to prove that they're negative reciprocals of each other. You see my other video on negative reciprocals. Basically, if you prove this, then you've proved them that they're right angle or that they intersect. 
Well, well, negative reciprocals are basically, let's say if you have y is equal to, y prime is equal to g of x, or just the derivative. Negative reciprocals is going to be, uh, is this going to be 1 over g of x negative. So basically, this is a negative reciprocal. So you just uh, flip it over and put a negative in. And this proves that it's right angle. So basically, let's look at those two equations now. We'll use implicit differentiation. It's y squared plus x squared is equal to r squared. Okay, if we take derivative of this using uh, pro uh, this is power rule and chain rule, two y times y prime, uh, and where y prime is equal to dy over dx, so in terms of x, and then this one using power rule, two x, that's it, two x, and then yeah, two yeah two, and then the uh, derivative of r squared is a constant, it's gonna be zero. So we got this one, if we rearrange this derivative, we're gonna get y prime is equal to, well, negative two x over two y. The two's cancel, we're gonna have negative x over y. The derivative is in terms of uh, the original y. We don't need to solve it, but so that's what we have here. And then if we look at the y is equal to k, x is the line one. If we take the derivative, this one's just gonna be y is equal to, well, derivative constant times x is just, just going to be y equals k. I mean, uh, yeah, y prime is equal to k. So that's the derivative here, but then if you rearrange k, the k is just equal to, in this case, y over x. So then y prime is equal to y over x. So as you can see here, for the, uh, for the circle, and so for the circles we have y prime is equal to negative x over y, and then for the lines we have y prime is equal to, well, this one's going to be y over x. As you can see, these are negative reciprocals. Yeah, so basically thus we've proven that they're orthogonal. So there's our proof. That's all you need to know. Uh, you see my other video on negative reciprocals, really important to prove that they are. If you have negative reciprocals, it's going to be basically the um, right angle. So it's orthogonal right there. Well, thanks for uh, watching, and uh, this is basically all for orthogonal trajectories for today, yeah, basically all you do is take derivative, make sure there are negative reciprocals, and you have an orthogonal curve. This is really used in a lot of um, engineering and whatnot, like even electrical engineering, where you, you look at the magnetic field and force and whatnot. So basically, uh, oh, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for another math e